Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Hope you had a safe uh, holiday or whatever you like to call it, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Uh, hope you had a great season and uh, hope you had a safe and a Happy New Year. Uh, before we talk about the Huskies, first off, I'm wearing this. This is the ugly. This represents the Oregon Ducks. Please, Auburn, take down Oregon. Please. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. All right, just go Auburn. Take down the Ducks. Okay. So, I know this is late, but that's what happens when you're busy around this time of the year. And the Washington Huskies took down the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the Holiday Bowl. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the game. I was able to... Uh, Got a little scary a little bit because uh, there was a chance that I almost couldn't watch the game and then everything worked out. I was able to watch, uh, I was able to listen to half of the first quarter on the radio and then I watched the rest of it. Um, and uh, it was great to see the Huskies come out with the victory. The story with this game is the Huskies running game and the, and the Huskies defense. Uh, the Huskies secondary throughout the last few years has, has been the big problem, you know, giving up third down plays when it's third and 13 or third and long, uh, you know, in those types of situations, and they played out of their mind. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how, th how they play next season. More about that but uh, later on, but if they can play like that throughout next year, I mean, jeez, we're going to be one tough team in our division as the Pac-10 goes to the Pac-12. Um, but we'll talk more about how we do, how, what I think the team and what I expect from the team uh, next year in just a second. Uh, but yeah, the defense was solid. The running game was unbelievable. I mean, Chris Polk and Jack Locker just went off. Um, both of them had touchdowns, and uh, the special teams came into play. Um, uh, you know, came to play with the exception of missing a couple of field goals, uh, which was kind of uh, that was kind of odd to see. But then again, I'm being nitpicky, and the Huskies come away with a huge, huge bowl victory. Um, this is a monumental win for this program. It really is. After what we've been through throughout this last decade with all the controversy on and off the field, you know, and, and even though, you know, we won the 2001 Rose Bowl against Purdue, for those of you who do not know, that team now is looked at as the team of convicts because there was a bunch of rapists, uh, beaters, uh, a bunch of people who broke the law on that uh, on that team, and then you had Rick Neuheisel who was just kind of like, oh, it's okay, shh, shh, as long as you play well on the field, shh, you know. So, um, you know, and then you had the whole probation. We were we were we were on probation for bowl games. We had the 0 and 12 year, and for us to finally win a bowl game, it's it's great. We finally can move in the right direction. Uh, expectations are rising, and they're they're rising big time. Uh, you know, because now instead of we have, there are some people in Husky Nation who expect the Huskies to win the national championship every year, which I understand is ridiculous. But slowly but surely, we're starting to get back into talks of a legitimate competitive team. Um, and that's and that's fantastic. Uh, the fact that we improved so much from 0 and 12, we finished 5 and 7, and that, then we ended up getting 6 and 6, even though we had a really scary uh, we had a really uh, scary situation, being three and six midway through the season. But we peaked at the right time. We won the bowl game. It's it's very good. Doesn't matter if it was the Rose Bowl, the Holiday Bowl, the, the you know the the national championship bowl. Bottom line is we finally won our bowl game, and we can finally look uh, look toward higher accomplishments going into the next couple of years. So. Um, so let's take a look at next year. Uh, next year, since we won six games. I will be disappointed. I know we will be in bowl conversation if we come up one win short, but I am expecting this team to win seven games. I want to see progression. Uh, last year, um, last year we had won five, so this year I wanted to see six. We got six, so I want to see seven games. I want to see us win seven games this, uh, next year. And basically, what I really want to see is I want to see that second, that that defense just and that secondary just just go off, the, you know. Um, and uh, next year. So what's going to be kind of interesting is it's we're going to see some new opponents. Yet they're going to become part of the Pac-10. We got we got to deal with Colorado. We got to deal with Utah uh, coming up. And then our non-conference schedule. I don't necessarily know how you can judge it because you know Hawaii. We we got to play Hawaii. Um, so it, they're they're in the whack. And so it's going to be that argument of okay, is this the whack that everybody thinks? stinks and therefore it screws Boise State over or is this going to be a team that 
uh, is in a small non-BCS conference and is trying to prove something. So we got that opponent. We also have Eastern Washington University, who clinched a berth in the in their uh, in their uh, national championship game. Um, so that game you can't overlook. Uh, you can't overlook that at all. And then we're playing in Nebraska. So that's our non-conference schedule. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Um, as of right now, uh, we don't know if Chris Polk is going to return. Um, there's the poss uh, possibility he could go to the NFL. And then there's the situation at quarterback, because uh, Jake Locker's gone. More on him later. And uh, so it's, it's going to be it's going to be odd here. But ultimately, I think Husky fans should expect this team to win seven games next year and, and really build upon this bowl game. I mean, this, this is something that we've been wanting for, for over a decade. For over a decade. I mean, it's our first bowl, uh, bowl win since 2001. So it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. So... Uh, so go dogs again. Auburn take down the Oregon Ducks in the national championship game. Thank you. And now uh, as for Jake Walker, which I'm sure if you've seen my preview, uh, you might want to hear what I think about uh, with him. Well, you're going to get that in my next video. So I know, I know, and you're probably a little, dis a little disappointed, but one, this one is about the Ducks. The next one will be about Locker, and ultimately the Huskies came through. The Huskies came through, and it was a fantastic season. So. Not much I can say about uh, anything else. Um, so go dogs, and uh, stay tuned for more entries here on the Post Thoughts in the Doghouse on YouTube. Thanks for watching.